little dumbbell. Have a great day at the plaza. Ah, thanks, mommy. Debbie. Yeah. Well, looky here. It's the two liquid shrimps playing together in the park. Oh, so adorably lame. <laughs> Daryl, I kind of get why you guys are always invading the plaza, but why do you have to be so rude while you do it? Because I'm a crude dude with titanium alloy attitude. That's why. That is not why. Yes, it is. What do you know anyway, four eyes? About robots? Lots. Your insults are just a program function executing itself. When your sensors detect an enemy that is logged in your database, like KO, for instance, the insult generator loads a rude remark that has been flagged in that hero's info file. Uh -uh. Let's perform a test. Try to insult this tree. Uh, er, you... tree? No, wait! Oh, wait! Let me try again! You have leaves, you tree! Tree is not logged in his enemy database, therefore he cannot insult it. Haha, -ha, you can't insult a tree. I can't too insult a tree. I, I just don't want to. Know what I want to do instead? Crush you! You can't do this, KO! I came up with a design for a new hack. If I can hack into the Boxmore Robots Insult Generator program and link it to the same biometric feedback system the PAL cards use, I can make it so that when a robot insults you, it will actually earn you coolness. Seriously? I am almost always serious. Where do I sign up? I do not require you to sign anything. Yeah, I meant... How do we get this awesome hack going? Okay, next time you get into a battle with Daryl, you need to stall for exactly two minutes. Two minutes? That's how long it will take me to remotely install the hack. 
So I need to fight a Daryl for two whole minutes? Correct. Time to turn the tables on Daryl! Hello, KO. Blah, 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 blah. Looking for just the wimp shrimp I was looking for. Check this out. Trees are dumb. Trees are wimps and losers. Ha! So your silly little friend was wrong. You just added trees to your database. Denny is never wrong, Daryl. She's gonna make you sorry for being such a Rudy Two Shoes. Rudy Two-Shoes? <laughs> Someone needs to upgrade your insult generator, loser. Care to dance for exactly two minutes, Daryl? Not on my watch, fuck more!
trying so hard right now! is hacked. We just need to test it out. Did you think it would be that easy? There's more me where I come from. Loser! What? What was that? What just happened? Tell me, you shrimp! <gasps> I just got cooler! And you helped me! You're lying! You're a loser liar! Just got cooler. I don't get it! You, you, loser whip dummy! Ah, feel the cool. I'm telling my daddy! The hack definitely worked. Cool hack, Dendy. You're a genius! Those goofs had better watch their goof and mouths, or you'll be the coolest kid in the plaza. <laughs> yeah.
have a few minutes to cool me? Okay. What's the coolest? The plaza's under attack! Okay. And here we go again. Oh boy! Here we go again! <sighs> oh boy! A battle! You're fucked! Nice battle, y'all. Yeah, decent. Boxmore didn't bring their aid game, but it was a solid B+. Hey, that was super weird when that Shannon ripped out a lock of your hair and then escaped, Enid. Yeah, and I just got a did, too. What do we do with this Jethro carcass? New garbage can for the break room? Oh, 
What's wrong, Enid? I was just randomly trolling on the Boxmore message board when I saw a new post. Listen to this. Boxmore is developing a new, highly advanced BattleBot model. Its behavior program will be based around the DNA code of a real human. This model, dubbed the EN1D, will lead the next generation of BattleBots with next-gen attitude. <laughs> That's kind of like your name, Enid. It is me! That must be why that Shannon stole a lock of my hair. They're cloning my DNA and downloading it into a robot! Holy rigatoni! That's bad! It's the worst! What if I have to fight a robot me? I have to get my hair back before they extract my Enid essence. But, like, how? They've got it over at Boxmoor? I know how! We storm over there and ask for it back politely. And if they refuse, well, I don't want to have to go there, but I'll trade them my three best pal cards for your hair. Would you get real, K.O.? We have to be stealth. We need to, like, sneak in or blend somehow. But I'm pretty sure two heroes will get noticed in a villain superstore. You think I'm a hero? Focus, K.O. Focused! Two heroes can't blend in. But one hero who is small enough to fit inside a Jethro body could! I can't let you do that, K.O. It's a great plan, and you know it. I will be Jethro. Enid? Ah! Oh, it's you, Kao. Nuh-uh! I am Jethro! <laughs> wow. This might actually work. Of course it'll work! Okay, I did some internet digging. Project EN1D is headed up by the R&D department. So when you get to Boxmore, try to find it. R&D? Robots and... tomb devices? No, that'd be R and D D. Research and development, Brushhead. Right now, they're researching my DNA, and we gotta stop the development part. Hmm. I am Jethro. Huh? <gasps> What took you so long? Jeez. I am Jethro. Our whole villainous careers, we've been fighting heroes the same way as evil villains would. And yet we have not bested them, have we? With this single lock of hero hair, I can extract the DNA code for heroism. Then, downloading it into my new battle bot, the EN1D, we will enter a new era in our struggle against the forces of good. Evil ladies and evil gentlemen, I give you the good bad guy. The EN1D will fight like a hero, but for our villainous gain. Think of it, a bad guy that doesn't know it's bad, who goes about evil as if it were a hero. We will be unstoppable. No! Who said that? Uh-oh. We have an imposter among us. Get them! <laughs> 
my watch, Fox Moore! You made it back. I was... You were what? You know, I, I was worried about me? Okay, yes, I was worried about you. So obviously you snuck in, grabbed my hair, and snuck out no problemo, right? Um, I mean, it pretty much went like that. Except for I interrupted Lord Boxman's evil speech. And then got attacked by, like, every Boxmore bot. Other than that, it was pretty smooth. What? Oh, almost forgot. Here's your hair. K.O., I, I put you in so much danger. I'm not sure it was worth it to not have to fight an evil robot me. Well, it definitely won't be worth it if you don't get happy and let me level up your card. Uh, right. Sorry. Thanks, K.O. You're my hero.
I'm impressed, KO.
Hello, KO. Blah, 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 blah. Uh. Twerp KO. What is his card's Powie Zowie program to be? Says here the cuticlism. He radiates pure cuteness and everything in its path experiences shucks and aww. No, no, that won't do at all. I need you to change his Powie Zowie to something that will spell ruin for the plaza and cause all his friends to turn on him. The Powie Zowies aren't chosen at random. They're derived from the characteristics of each hero. They need to fit. Trust me, this will fit KO like a glove. <laughs> <laughs>